Okay, thanks, Pedro. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to Burgundian Legend of Renarzia. This is the Manus Lesia Theocracy, and uh, we just finished the last episode with the beginning of this fight, that last fight that was really tough to get through. I mean, it was seriously tough. This might be just as tough, I'm not sure. But uh, we're kind of spreading out like a virus here. So we're just kind of moving all over the place, you know, in order to get somewhere. And uh, we're going to see if this strategy works. I'd have to say it's a very tough strategy. You can you can try it, but don't don't expect all your stuff to, to live. I think the fact is my expectations are a bit high for trying to keep most of my monsters alive. And in Grand Edition, I can kind of do that fairly well. But this game, it might take me a while maybe to get to that point, but so far, it's really hard to keep <laughs> keep monsters alive here. Unless you got them up to this, the next tier, you know, or you got enough protects or different situations, scenarios. Some of these knights in here hit like a truck, and when you get hit by a truck in this game, your stuff will go down. But uh, thanks everybody on Twitch for being here. Do appreciate that too and so yeah this is what we'll do on uh, uh, this is what we're gonna do with twitch uh, viewers and everybody that's here on twitch uh, I'm just gonna do like a I'm gonna try to cut it to like a two-hour thing so I know the first episode is three I try to cut it to two hours if I go up to a half an hour then I think that'll be my longest but I'm gonna try to do two-hour videos for YouTube so it's gonna be like that so Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays, I think, will be the days I'll be doing this LP here. Uh, so, that's for Twitch viewers, though. YouTube will probably get uploads almost every day. So, if you get this sometime throughout the day on YouTube, you know, then you get it. But for if you want to see this live, come by my stream on Twitch. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays might be um, it might be some more brigandine of some kind you know I'm doing a little fun co-op with uh, Raging Paul on Tuesdays we're doing also a Norzalio playthrough on Saturdays a co-op with Norzalio so I think I think the only co-op of Legend of Renarzia on YouTube is uh, coming from my channel coming from me myself and Raging Paul so if you want to see us uh, goof around with Norzalio, Raging Paul just, he jokes around so much. He goofs around, he goofs off so much. And I do too, some to some degree, but we have a lot of fun doing that together. So I think I stated everything. I We can talk about the battle now. <laughs> they have a bro. Wow. So they're a bit bold. And definitely a reason to be. They got Alsen here, who Alsen is a um Alsen is a champion. He's a champion of champions. Although it's it's interesting, it looks it looks strange because even Raging Paul uh, told me he's like how is he a champion? He he looks so skinny compared to how the champions look. He's like he doesn't look anything like this guy. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you know, that's the way they made the champions look. I can't help that. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, that's the way it is, man. So. She's gonna come straight down. Uh, I can't really block this bridge too well. Oh, this is gonna be a tight. It's gonna be kind of a tight fight. I gotta be careful too. Gotta make sure I get all my characters into play here.
Got to see the arms of his portrait. Yeah, I mean, look, look at this. Look at how they made the character look. This guy is super beefy, you know. And if you look at his portrait, he he has some decent muscle, you know. He's he's uh he's pretty close to my strength level, but he's not like a beefcake kind of character, you know. He doesn't. It uh. He he's he doesn't look that big, <laughs> and he's 65. <laughs> he's definitely not like an Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of character with that kind of level of strength, you know. I wonder what. Uh, trying to figure out what to do with this here. Could probably tank a bit. 102 strength, though. Yeah, he's, uh... Oh, jeez, we got this dragon way in the back. That's not a good place. Get up here, little buddy. We need you. <laughs> Do you think he hasn't seen his guns? This guy's a mountain man. You got any good mountain songs you all wanna wanna sing? Get a bunch of mountain men here. Let's save this for the perfect opportunity. Oh boy. They did it. They did it. Okay, well they're not here yet, and it looks like they're just kind of sitting around waiting for me to initiate them. Which isn't really what I want to do, I'd rather them come to me. Okay, let's do... They can already come out to me. They could. They just kind of sat. What do we have as a cardinal? Do we get a divine ray? We don't even get that. She'll be coming around a mountain when she comes. <laughs> She'll be coming around a mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around a mountain. She'll be coming around a mountain. She'll be coming around a mountain when she comes. Mina, washi o chushin ni ugoku no jazo. Alright, Key Largo, you'll have to kind of support us here a little bit. That might be better. I 
I might have to tempt them to come out to me. Why don't I eat some cake? Oh, wait, that's not the right guy. I'm really glad we have a bunch of flyers for this team. That that will probably help us a lot. Whoa! Balls! Oh, it sucks. It's just gonna curse this, this thing, and this thing is wholly elemental. That is going to hurt like crazy. He's resistant, though. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep an eye on it, heal it up. Although he's gonna just punt it away when he does a attack. Yeah, he's gonna just punt it away, isn't he? Oh man. One, two, three. I could move him on over to there. Okay, he's magic resistant, but we don't really have a lot of magic to do. I could do a holy word right now. He can't really heal himself. Especially when I trap him, it's going to be a lot harder. Um, I think I need to move here so when he punts this over there, I can heal it up. Or do a holy word. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? That's very nice. It's always nice, right? Let's move over here so in case I get punted away. We'll be... Okay. All right, we're gonna pop protect here. Pop our protect. If we could take down Aslan right now, or Alsen, I keep saying Aslan from uh, Narnia, but if we can take down Aslan right now, that'd be perfect. Uh, so you could maybe move over there. I think you can, I, I hope you can. Okay, who else needs a protect? I think. Uh, we're gonna have to surround him and do a lot of work. Who can we protect right now? Um, I think he, I think this guy's gonna need a protect spell too. Hope this works. Aslan equals Endorian. <laughs> you think so? Wow, I could do serious damage to this guy. We're good. We'll do some great damage too because we 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 knock out mountain guys. So I don't think we have a choice with this. If we lose this thing, that sucks, but... He still can't go around? I thought he could go... 
One, two, three. Oh, I thought he could move over here. Dude. Dude. Okay, I... We just gotta do this, I think. You know what, let's go over here instead, in case I want to do a physical. Kind of look wise, at least. Hmm. <laughs> oh, do I have damage planned for him? The only problem with the monk class is punching away things actually opens you up to more attacks. So... Cool. Push him away. I'll put more stuff in there. Okay, I don't want to put I don't want to push him right now. I like him where he, where he's at. <sighs> down to 238 <laughs> Okay, this doesn't push him back. I just want him to stay right here. This guy's a super tank. Can we level up Cyrus here? We can level up Cyrus the virus here. Level 9 monk. We're gonna level him up. With a crit on top. Yeah, you failed. Oh, 
Got extra strength. Nice. Yes, we got one of those. <laughs> we have one of those. Okay, she's probably going to get in here pretty quickly. Uh, B team's kind of stuck where they're at. <laughs> I don't know if we can fully surround her right now. If we try to, she's gonna kind of get us in a trap here. I'd rather her just move forward at the moment. We'll just kind of deal with uh, problems as they come, you know? So how's everybody doing? <laughs> In our cool second episode. I almost need to just bring everybody in Nary Heal. You guys are kind of useless. One protect and that's it? I'm used to having like at least two protect spells to start. That's totally useless from level one. I mean, we might be able to silence her, I don't know. We'll see. Well, now that we got rid of Punchy McPunchface, uh, we could probably get some stuff around. Yeah, I think they should just have, um, they, they should all, you know, they, they should all have two protects right off the bat. I think they really should. Uh, Reliki, is this similar to Legend of Forcina? I'd have to say it's kind of a mixture between Grand Edition and Legend of Forcina. This seems to go back to the, the time when, um, Physical fighters was was the big big thing, you know. Where everybody's like, Grand Edition is too powerful with magic spells. I I I, I beg to differ. I think let I think uh, Grand Edition was very well done. I don't think there's anything really wrong with that. The way that it was kind of put together. Um, am I safe here? I might be kind of safe though. Yeah. Yeah, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, so, if... I'm, I'm only going to say this so many times, uh, but... Uh, 
for Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'll be doing this LP here. So whatever it is, uh, we just finished up Morelva, and I got a really awesome win against the Rune God and uh, and Morelva. But um, yeah, we're having a lot of fun here, and uh, so I've been playing this game, putting on YouTube for quite a very, very, very long time, about 20 years doing stuff like that, and. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, not exactly the same as, you know, you'd completely imagine. There are differences, like, um, what are some of the differences? Well, some of the differences are, this one's got protect on right now, I could probably... Yeah, it's just too much stuff going on over there. I'd rather just pull back. Could do fighting focus, make him a little bit tankier. Increase your attack for a limited number of turns. That's nice. I think we should do that. But yeah, how long have you been played the game? You said it was your uh, your childhood. Yeah, when I was younger, I played this quite a lot. Quite a lot. A lot, a lot. Maybe too much. Played it all the time. <laughs> yeah. I kind of figured she'd go there. I'm leaving a spot open just to, just to draw her in. Hopefully she can't... I don't think she can heal. She has healers, though. Okay, we could push here a little bit. I could do a couple things here. Um, but yeah, how you how you doing? Welcome, and uh, let me know some of your experiences too. As far as like this game goes, played Brigadine Forcina with the PS One, and still play it to the day. Yeah, I. I like playing Forcina. I think I play a little more Grand Edition though. I do multiplayers. And so right now we're doing co-op. So I'm doing a co-op with Raging Paul with Legend of Renarzia. So that's that's on my channel on YouTube and here too. That'll be Saturdays though. And we do some Grand Edition. We're we'll be do we're doing a playthrough of Grand Edition right now and it's on it's going to be on Tuesdays. So pretty much almost the whole week is going to be filled with Brigandine on my channel for Twitch. And YouTube is going to be filled with Brigandine too. Uh, so, you want to come hang out with all of us uh, Brigandine lovers? You know, I follow your banner! Definitely come hang out. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, though. Project Nights? Yeah, let me know what your favorite Project Nights are. That'd be cool to, uh, to know. it's going to be to take her down. Okay, I really can't even get all the way out there. I really can't. I guess we're just taking care of this thing here. But yeah, thanks for the follow. Hopefully you, uh, have a good time here. There's lots of people here that talk about a lot of Brigandine. We go over that quite a bit. You know, it's definitely one of the things we do here. Uh, I gotta get this thing out of the way. It's gonna get double cursed by <laughs> two demons here. Derriere and uh, Halos are gonna do something really, really naughty there. Really bad to my team. Um, let's see. So I just increased your attack. I think we'll focus this guy down, though. 
I mean, I could hit her, but I'm putting it in a lot of danger. This thing's kind of in the way. It's it's just it's just getting in the way. We'll just get rid of this thing first. Probably do a crit hit on it once I do a couple other attacks. Let's start with the good old Wyvern. Wyvern on Wyvern battle here. So yeah, this this game's pretty fun. Since we already did that attack through, I'd rather not... Well... Okay, the other griffin's a little bit lower, so we'll keep him back. Alright, I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna get Cyrus another kill. Hopefully. Okay, good. He's got a kill. That's nice. I gotta play a defense card right here. I kind of have to. I might have to do an airy heal, which isn't such a isn't such a bad idea. Although I keep forgetting that this is basically a glorified rock, right here. You know, they got individual names now uh, for the monsters. Uh, yeah, if you played the original, you usually get um, Leonia one, Leonia two. Leonia 3, you know, you get that sort of thing. Uh, Grand Edition had names, and uh, what, I, have a tr I have a translated patch for the game, so I play and they, they can do English names with the Grand Edition, and they they let you come up with all kinds of names. So if you have a name for a monster while I'm streaming, just let me know. Well, we can name a bunch of monsters. I don't mind. You know, as long as it's kind of like... Uh, it, it doesn't really matter for YouTube, but, you know, as long as it's not... As long as it's a decent name. You know, I don't mind. So... <laughs> draw one L. <laughs> All these. Well, I don't know if I'll name every monster that. I'll, I'll give a few monsters, but we can we can name a lot of monsters, though. So I'd rather come up with different names. We, we have some names. Uh, actually, no, we haven't really named anybody here yet. But uh, I just finished the Morelva LP, and we named a lot of monsters there. So... So if you have a name for a monster or something. So we got a Sonic Roar for two range here. Which could work. It's two spaces away, but Curse is also two spaces away. So they might have the advantage on me at this point. They, they sort of do have advantage, don't they? I think I have to go here. I think I have to go here. We, we will probably have to fight those demons off. And I gotta say, this game, these little these little uh, imps, these are the hairy fairies. So what was the fairy is now this, you know, hairy cat with wings and a devilish look on its face. Because now the pixies are an actual humanoid class. So this is, pr this is exactly the, the pixie and fairy class that it was before. Just... They look... Uh, <laughs> they're little gremlins. So it's basically like a flying cat thing. And um, they don't really get a lot of potential for protects right off the bat. They're just... I don't know. I think it's one of the ugliest looking things in the game. <laughs> I, still like the, I still like the pixie look from beforehand. I'd have to say it's still a little more into that. Uh, just, just being honest. Just... I kind of like that a little more. Um, I don't know if it's going to do anything, but he could soak up a curse spell. So maybe that'll be better that way. I don't know. 
You see, yeah, there's a lot of changes. There's new things. There's different things. Uh, I wonder if I should do a holy word now, if that's going to help. It's like this, and, and I'm playing MST, which, um, which, uh, Relkai, MST, Manus Lithiocracy, has a very Ascaris feel to it. I mean, Rudo is as bad as they come, and he might even be a worse, a worse person in general than Zemeckis is. And stronger than Zemeckis, too. So, we just saw some of the dialogue earlier, and what he does to his dad is irreprehensible. It's, it's just not... It's definitely not good. I think a holy word would be nice, although I'm just literally burning out my whole MP pool. Uh, I'm really not doing much damage, but... Do we have any more heals, though? I feel like we're gonna hurt. We're gonna be hurting on heals, aren't we? We are. We really are. Okay, we have to play a little more defensively here. I could do area heal. Although we're down to 63, and heals are 65, so I would literally be able to do nothing but a loop heal. So basic heals it is. Basic heals it is today. There's gonna be three spaces for that, right? Oh, and protect isn't four spaces, it's three. So you gotta be a little more careful here. You know how it used to do four spaces away and you protect? Now you gotta be a lot closer. So doing magic is a bit riskier in this game. It seems it sort of is. Um, You know, he's kind of out here in the boonies, and he's in water, and he might not evade very well. I just increased his attack, though, but... I gotta give him a protect, because he's like... He, he's lower leveled, he's not leveled up yet. You know? So what's everybody saying here? Um, I think I missed some stuff. I have a name, Gizmo, for the Man of Miracle Info. Gizmo? Oh man, are we going back to the movie Gremlins? Holy cow. Don't let them turn into a gremlin. Oh nice, yeah. You Wait, they can't go into water, right? Isn't that the case? They can't get into water or water kills them? I forgot which one it was. Uh, Rosalio OP, I'm 10 turns from the end of the game with them. Pick the Lena for MP regen is broke. Hmm. Well, it seems like they did good, good with the story too. Story's pretty decent. Story's pretty decent. It's definitely different. It's not the same kind of game. You know, it's not exactly the same kind of. It's not an LOF. It, it it's not an LOF too, which they were considering doing a, a remake, a grand edition. I'd have to say, they could do it, but I'd be a little disappointed because. Grand Edition already is kind of a remake of LOF in a way, anyways, and a remake of a, a, a remake of um, a full game is more of a remastering than a remake, I think. I would rather have LOF 2, honest to God, I'd rather have that. Or a number 2 to this, maybe some more After Years or something. Uh, Gizmo is the only one I like, hopefully you'd remain good, even as a gremlin. <laughs> The potion pick doesn't have good intelligence and every, yeah, yeah. The good thing is in this game, what I have to say, uh, since you're still new here, uh, Reliki, is that you can quest for so much stuff. You can get four pieces of gear for your monsters, four pieces of gear for your knights. You can get so many potions, it will come out your ears. And you can like literally make a knight however you want. It, it doesn't like, the original game kind of followed a particular train. Of thought like you okay well you're going this way well there's not a lot of tracks you can take you're gonna kind of have to stick down this path here you can change to be something else you know and um knights that's why their portraits don't really match up too much sometimes with what they are because you can just change course and be completely different job you know 
and you can just farm for stuff and just make your character like super good. So like if you wanted to make pick from uh, Norzalio really good with intelligence and MP, just feed him a bunch of potions and he's good, you know? Uh, used to have my angels directly in backline, now I tend to keep them an extra space back. I still keep them like right behind. It depends on their range, really. It helps you. It really depends if they have a bunch of centaurs, or if they, or if they're lined up for a bunch of breath attacks, or how it's gonna play out. I, I look at every situation a little bit differently, and sometimes it doesn't pan out. But you know, it's really just looking at position. It, this game's so much like chess. You just you're looking for positions, and you're looking for opportunities. You know, and uh, that's what I love about this game. It has so much of that. It's got a very chess-like feel, but so much more to it. You know, there's so much to it. Don't feed them after midnight. Ooh, wait, was that it, uh, Evmo? You can't feed them after midnight, and then they turn into gremlins? Wet, midnight food, and sunlight? Did sunlight do it? Maybe sunlight made them good. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie Gremlins. Mogwai equals gremlins? With a gear pick can is awesome I have with. Yeah. Jake, did you did everybody see? Last night we just finished a game with Morelva and I got Sophie's intelligence to two hundred and seven or two hundred and ten or something like that. Her intelligence was at two hundred and plus. You can go beyond a hundred intelligence. It was insane. She was so good. She was a Trabador, she had Meteor Doom, she had Geno Thunder. Oh my god, we just broke so much stuff. Not in game farm, a rude pick is what I'm looking at. Class progression's kind of locked with existing class stats. You can do a little bit more in here. I'm trying something different with uh, As or Alan, and he's a thief, and thieves aren't that very good. But once you get to Ranger, you get this draw trap trick that you just drag them towards you, kind of like a kind of like a Mortal Kombat scorpion pull. And you pull the enemy towards you, whereas the, the the champion class can punch them away. You can throw out a lasso and just pull them towards you. It's and it guarantee works all the time. It's pretty cool. Uh, do hope they do an expansion sec version of LOR that adds multiplayer challenge modes. And pick. It would be interesting, although I think they'd have to change the way that it's set up because if if you had multiplayer this style. The only way to win is to stack a whole team the whole time. Because you'd have to have an insane power score. To always guarantee that you will get the win. You will get the attack off first. Um, and then that would be a whole other mind game too. Because it's like, I'm putting all my guys in this one castle so I can attack you. <laughs> you know? You'd have to leave castles available. It'd be weird. I don't know how it'd, it'd play out. It, I think they'd have to go back to what Grand Edition was and just be completely random because I liked that, honestly. Uh, just the sheer randomness as to who's going to attack what. Um, rules don't get put in the light, don't get it wet, drink water. Don't put it in the light! I... Yeah, water... I never really knew about the after midnight thing, but water I kind of knew that. I, I didn't remember the light thing though. Uh, do a snake draft. Umamaro is number one draft pick for me. Um, and I showed you how powerful Umamaro was. Umamaro is a little t little tank cannon guy, and he will just blast forward this this high pressure attack inside of him at, through his little through his little cannon hat, and it does amazing damage. Um. Della number two. Yeah, he's got a smoke sack attack. I have to bring a gremlin with Umi. <laughs> we'll have to try some of that. If I do, um, if if uh, once I finish the uh, little grand edition LP I'm doing with Raging Paul on Tuesdays, I might do. Uh, I might do the challenge mode on Tuesdays. And so that might just be like a full day of challenge mode. I don't know if I'll put that on YouTube, but it might be like a big day of just stuff for, uh, just for Twitch, you know, 
just because it, I don't know how strong it's going to be, but I might put some episodes on YouTube, but I have a lot going for YouTube right now. So, I honestly feel fairly confident about this battle. I know I'm not doing Holy Word, but this Cardinal here, this Cardinal is like the most useless patternist there ever was. Like, his, his MP sucks. His intelligence... I can't remember. His intelligence... He's 65. He's, he's, he's just a basic healer. He's, he's got no skills. He's the most useless <laughs> Cardinal I have ever seen. That I would have to say... I would have to say Langeborg looks better in comparison to this guy. And I've used Langeborg in the Snake of Chaos fight as a Ninja Master against the Snake of Chaos. Billcock 2.0. I've made Billcock better than this. Billcock, I turned him into a monk. After I turned him into a mage, he had Geno Flame. He had monk skills. He could kick people back. He actually did fairly well. I was surprised. I, I'd have to say Gil here is. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Avmo, Gillum is hot trash. He's a hot mess. He's just. So some of the knights in this game, you you start. I mean, and, and you look at this stuff here, it says growth rate E, growth C. It's not very good for that, and just intelligence is 65 as a cardinal. You should at least be at 80. At 80, at least, or 75, or something like that. It's That's terrible. That is terror bad. That is super bad. Okay, we got 21% to uh, silence Scamera. I don't know if I should do it here. If I, you know, I should save it for those demons because that isn't going to help very much. Let's. Uh, do I need to be up here? Is there? Is this important? It might be important. Let's put you. Okay, we'll put you there. Bilkak is a champion monk duel was great for me. Really? You tried that? That's cool. That is really cool to hear. That is really cool to hear. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say. And they blocked me one more time. One more time. One more block. I can't even get in there. They're doing their darndest to, uh, to make this really tough on me. Okay, well you're on water, and you're a held hound. You're not going to like this attack. I got 74. She has so many hit points. I think we're just going to do a basic acid breath. I need to get a hit. We need to kill this dog, too. And your little dog, too. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta knock it out. I almost want to go slap up this, uh... Can we kill this... Can we kill the dog outside of the rune? It's a little risky. Almost. No, we're not going to keep it there. I almost want to just... Just do this, just to keep this thing down, because we might be able to kill these things off. Ooh, with a crit, not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, my attack is up. Thief's uppercut. 100%. She's gonna feel it. I'm gonna feel it too. 
But I will heal a little bit with this attack. Oh man, she shielded that. That sucks. Okay, good, he got a counter. Whew. And they blocked my view. They blocked my ocean side view, Jake. What am I gonna do? This, this country feels very, very much like Iskaris Empire. Just to say that right now. It feels very much like that. What you guys saying? 30? Had over 110 every stat? Billcock is actually not bad. I, I've I've always heard a bit complaints with Billcock, but you can make you can turn him into a champion. You could have him as a wizard. You could Billcock is super versatile. And he doesn't have like the greatest rune control, I think. But like his potential is is better than a lot of other knights, I think. And I usually put him on a team with uh Dinadan or Kai, because it's like, well, He's going to do some healing for a while, then he's going to do some magic and kind of fit in with that crowd. And then he might do something else and try to fit in with another crowd. You never know. What's the highest combat score you've seen so far with the regular game, pre-mana? Uh, Morelvin with two, 2,121 in my current game. I think it was around 2,000. I don't know if it was 2,100 or 2,200, but um, I've I, it's pretty high. Morelva, I got very, very high. Uh, depends on playing difficulty hard. They will fill out teams, yeah. It's still a dude, uh, Guinea. The most high-level monsters. Yeah. I gotta hit her with something. The thing still has a heal. We have to weather the damage right now. It seems it seems very much like that's the case. We sort of have to weather it, don't we? He's suffering from lake effect. I need to get around. I need to surround her. I'm really not getting that opportunity. He's in the water. I'm worried they're gonna heal her, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to force the heal on this thing. It's already turned seven, too. I 
If only the rune control was a little bit better. Like, the distance for the rune control he has is just absolute garbage. I still have two more spells, too. Okay, hopefully this will work. 23, 24... Yes! Yes! Yes, we got a silence! We got a silence! The sound of silence. We get this one too? Got one. I have an idea. I can't put I can't pump any more damage into her. Cause they're gonna heal it's gonna heal up Scamara, so I have to try to just try to weaken some of their team here. I could hit her, although I'm not sure that's the best idea. I have to try to get in here. They've been digging their heels in here so hard, and it's been really tough to to move around in here. You smell conspiring unicorn people? Where are they at? Wait, that's it? That's his turn? The B team gets to go? Oh boy. Shinbatsu! Can't move that far. I can't even move. I have to just. Fighting focus. Let's do that. Increase my attack. Sure. Oh, crap. She moved all the way over there. Dang it. I guess I'm killing monsters here. That's all I really have access to. They're just leaving me with just monster kills. <laughs> Gilliam's heels equal to a unicorn. Yeah. Seems that way, doesn't it? 
Well, I could kill it off just to kill it. I don't know if anything else can get over here to help out. Uh, Gilliam's team would go. That's... I'm just going to do it just to do it. It's a pretty powerful monster. I might lose this thing too, but... Come on, dude! 83? Really? Oh, I missed with 83%. Just so many things are gonna get killed off so fast here. I have so much stuff that's super low. One heal to boot. I gotta be very careful who I heal. Uh, not much I can do, just a bunch of hairy fairies and not much else to do. I'll just kill this thing off here. We have 80 points, so we could do two. We could do a loop heal here, and then a loop heal to somebody else. Well, thanks for being here, everyone. We're going to go for like another hour, I think. Um, I need to draw this knight in if she's going to play that kind of game. You have to try to do a draw tactic. Yes! Yes, they retreated. They saw what I was going to do. Can you see what I was going to do? I can get around. I can get around. I'm going for the castle. If they don't stop me, they can't do much about it.
Goodbye. It's been a good fight, I have to say. It's been a really, really good fight. We got a heavy protector. Not too bad. Yes! Yes! Touchdown! <laughs> it, it survived. It survived. Oh my god. That was probably down to two hit points. You'll spare me for now. Spare the small talk, babe. We'll, we'll have another chat next time. Barely? Gil, you're kind of gimpy with, like, your damage, man. Let's keep you as... You're, you're like a glorified unicorn. I think that's kind of right. So one of my cooldown for those commands, it's also scrumptious. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's there's sometimes a one minute, sometimes there's some of them have one minute, some of them don't have timers. I forgot which ones do. There's a lot though. There's a lot down below you can check out. I'm probably gonna add some too. I kept saying I'm gonna put the Grados. We're gonna have some cake, and uh that's coming up. Wait, tonight is Tonight is... It's night Friday? I think tonight's Friday, right? Tonight should be Friday. Yeah, that's tomorrow. I should get that. So I'm going to have Grado say, why don't we eat some cake? Instead of instead of what he usually says, which actually sounds very close to saying, why don't we eat some cake? So I'm going to make that uh, a sound bite that you can use. And I'll probably call it uh, exclamation cake. So I'll probably do that for Grados, which we're playing our co-op tomorrow. So it'll be Norzalio. So it would be, you know... Uh, very well, fairly well, uh, appreciated. You know what's, you know what's great now? We're probably gonna have enough MP to do other stuff, although I think that one still doesn't. These battles, though, since we're not taking, like, the best of the best teams, we're just kind of, like, making a very balanced team, you know? Or, I'm trying to make balanced teams, that's, that's sort of the goal. And, uh, what's... We captured that thing, which is cool. Um, <laughs> they both go, yeah! <laughs> they both <laughs> raise their hand in the air. But, uh, trying to make balance teams. They're trying to spread out and attack everything, so... You know, we'll see how this plays out. Um, yeah, we got another hour here. Uh, or so. So, let's, uh, let's do some more damage, you know? Got it. Need a pollen saying I'm not a robot. I also have to do a, a subscriber tier thing, so I'm gonna make a my third tier subscriber is gonna have Raging Paul with bolts and nuts and bolts coming out of his head, and he's gonna have on an Amish hat with an Amish beard, and he's gonna look a bit metallic. So I'm gonna have an Amish robot as my emote. and uh, that that'll be the next third tier one, which I've I think I've unlocked that. Call it, follow me. <laughs> we won two battles. We have a really tough battle up there. I'm sending Rudo with um, with uh, Emmy uh, 
up into a battle. Just two knights against whatever they've got. Ooh, Stella's here. Oh, Stella's stellar. Stella's probably my favorite knight so far. She might be. I just played as Morelva. She was my first. You know, you never forget your first. And, uh... It's gonna be hard battling her, honestly. It's gonna be kinda hard. It might be really hard. They got two blue snakes there. マナサリージアあなたのマナの力、少し驚きました。驚く。ああ、いえ、悪く言ったのではないですよ。とっても興味があるんです。その力を見てみたい。私も本気で行きますから、あなたも本気で戦ってください。<laughs> already coming after me. <laughs> you didn't even move yet. They're like, yeah, we can break your army. Yeah, you're not that good. They have a lot of sea serpents. This is going to be tough. I got to get Pluto in a good position. Or her. There's so much tank stuff here. And she's kind of a tank herself. It's going to be hard to take her down. Uh, do they have a do here? Oh, they've got Galavard. Okay. If they had a do there, it'd be a little tougher. Galavard's still pretty strong too, but... Um... They have one heal. They have one heal and no protects. This will be very interesting. Wait, do they have any swamp they can use here? I hope not. Okay, good. You know, we could do the whole ghoul trick here. Although I'm not sure that's going to totally pan out. It works in Grand Edition. I, I'm not so sure it's going to totally work here. They look dead set on attacking me. Jeez. He can't protect me. Okay, they really can't get here right now. Well, some of them can. Okay. 
皆さん僕の言うことを聞いてくださいね Oh boy She's coming down the mountain too Where's Galvard? How far could you go, man? Team C might actually come out and strike. This is going to be a tight, very tight battle. Just saying, this is going to be a bit of a tough one. Oh god. Barely move with this dragon. We can barely go anywhere with this guy. Seems like in this game, dragons get lost in the forest. You thought of a middle way version? Follow me for cake? <laughs> I mean, maybe that could work. Okay, you gave me a lot to think about. She's right here. She's in a force. She has less evasion, and I, I kind of have a probably better chance now. I want to get out of the forest with these guys if I can as quickly as possible. Even with some of this stuff, I'm gonna have a hard time fighting this stuff. Here, what do you got? Dragon breath attack that way. Got one, two, three, range, that sort of thing going on there. Breath attack. That way, my angel. Got a healer right there, too.
Okay, I got a plan. I hope this plan- I hope this works out. Middleway version of Follow Me for Cake. Sixty eight percent, that's nice. So A team goes first and B team goes next. I could try to charm this thing. Genofrost might be better. I mean, it will kind of put him in a danger zone. The charm spell would be interesting though because then it might breath attack something. Although they might just sit there too because sometimes you do they, you do charm on something and it'll just end its turn for no reason. Just like, well, they should have done something against their own guys, and then they don't. Um, they don't have enough healers to kind of duke it out with me in that kind of sense. I could probably put a lot of damage into like this team here and probably be okay. Although the only problem is I've, those snakes are still coming. You know, they're still bit of an issue. Uh, Got to get my dragon down there, although he's not going to be a very good match against the uh, against them. But we might find some opportunities. I wonder if I just focus on this thing and try to kill this off. We'll get rid of the healer. We could get breath attacked. But at least we get rid of the healer and then we don't have to worry about it. I think that might be the better call. I think that'll be enough for an archer shot. Okay, so what I'm trying to plan is I get an archer shot. She should come over there. She'll probably get hit with a spell, but we'll get an archer shot to go. And we'll kill off the unicorn and we'll have maybe a little bit of advantage hitting Stella the next time. So I have another Divine Ray waiting for her. And plus this hits a lot of their monsters too. Yeah.
Yeah, but that's what happened last time, Pedro. I had a, I I charmed one of their one of their unicorns. My leader was getting pretty low. It could have healed up my leader. It didn't do anything. It just sat. So, I wonder if it's a little more random than it used to be, like like a guaranteed thing. So, charms might be all right, but I don't know if they're amazing here or if it's just kind of like sort of a meh. Might be okay. Might not be. Uh, this is some chip damage, and I'm I'm barely going to hurt her. She's going to really wallop this thing if I do that. We'll just stand by there. Thunder. Okay, who's going next? Uh, she's going next. It's 89 hit points. I hope she can take that down. I hope, I hope she can do that kind of damage. You ban! Thunderstruck! There we go. You got that going there. Uh... We're just kind of holding out for now. Good. Took out the healer. Okay, so Stella and Pluto go immediately. Who's ever close enough to death? Lupiel isn't gonna. Well, actually, Lupiel will help them right now. That's true. So. She is super low, though. She is super low, though. I wonder if I should just set up for a Divine Ray instead. I... Depends. We got a level 3, we got a level 1. Oh, I'm not too worried about that. We'll probably get smoked anyways. There's, like, so much stuff in... There's so much damage incoming here. Um... We're gonna set up for for something here. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yokai. Chance wa minogasanai. Kore nan ka doudai. Hold out, little lizard man. Hold out for just a little longer, please. You could have done a breath attack and you didn't. And he protected the wrong character.
We got this in the bag. Just the next fight might be even tougher than this one. <laughs> I'm kind of serious. <laughs> Should I save him or not? Uh, I guess so. I guess we could save him. It wouldn't be bad to have a mountain terrain monster, you know, working with us here. You think Monica? I mean, uh... What is she at? Really, really depends. Like, okay, so she's proficiency of one. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Let's see where Galvard can go, because I gotta see where all his stuff can go. So he can't go very far. This guy could. I don't think he can really get in there though. I mean, they might be able to a little tiny, tiny bit, but... Okay, I'm just gonna pull you out of the way. Because a halo kill might work. I just have to see how much... Let, let's just see how much damage we can do right now. Actually, a Geno, a Geno attack would be great. But we do have a Divine Ray coming here, which probably do a massive amount of damage. You know, we could just do a basic attack, actually. I don't think there's any range that's going to hit us right now. Whoa, a crit! Whoa, we're almost dead! <laughs> How about her? She's level three. Uh, I mean, I could. She she's not likely to get the kill though. Geno Frost. What are we gonna do? Yeah, I'm just worried about, like, the current proficiency right at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this because this, this is more damage to everybody overall. You got a good point there, though. That's a good point. We could level her up quite quickly. This is a fairly decent sized team though. So if we get a little bit bigger, then it'll be probably a lot better. Got our little bony friends over there. You actually hit me, no way. She's down to five hit points. No way. No way. Dude, you gotta hit. You just have to hit. Oh, this guy had to hit.
and that will kill her. Team C, she will probably take a shot from here. A giga shot or a zone shot. So she's she's three range away. So she's likely going to do it. The Archangel would be nice to get up to but I'd rather level the leader over anybody. So we're gonna take this shot here. I hope this pans out. If this doesn't work, then um, then the archer's gonna have to do it. This is super risky right now. Yeah, these hairy fairies, they... adventure kid uh yeah after you beat after you conquer it you get like a bunch of extra time so you don't have to worry too much uh, so that's why i put this angel here as insurance we got a backup divine ray going here to potentially work i think it should work um nice little breath attack here let's go ahead and do that i just want to just make sure our our uh, glorious archer leader here is going to level up there I just want to see Giga Shot, see if that works. 100% and it works. So, we got this battle won. It's already in the... It's in the bag. It's in the bag. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the stream. And all newcomers that just jumped in here. This is also going to be on YouTube. Also. Not today, but <laughs> soon. I keep thinking I'm the orange team because we played Morelva. I just beat Morelva. We did an amazing job finishing the game up. Absolute amazing job. Giga shot, go for the most power potential. 100% accuracy. I am so star sorry, Stella. I like you a lot. Appreciate you. But we were playing for MST today. Got ourselves another victory. We have a we have a tough one coming up though. We got a very tough one coming up. Rudo and Emma are uh, together. Just two knights versus whatever they've got. Um. Well, I guess 
in a way, it's a little different. It's not exactly the same way. You beat all the countries and you get these ghosts to fight. You get these extra quests that you can do and you fight in the quest. Um, and then you get extra time to, you know, quote questing for items and gear. You know? Rudo, talk about overkill. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I don't know. He, like, he is super, super strong when, when I'm fighting against him. But that's usually because he's been leveled up a bit. Uh, but just fighting with two knights. Usually, I'm fighting against him with three knights. When he's got three knights, it is really tough. I have to sit there and think about that for a while. But yeah, we'll we'll play this for like another 20 minutes, half an hour. To, we'll see how the battle goes. We're taking two knights here. See, it's not like Forcina where you go hard mode and not... Where you can go hard mode and not have a time limit. I think it does have a time limit in that game, though. Grand Edition definitely does have a time limit. If you're talking about Grand Edition multiplayer, you can set the time limit off. You're they usually have time limits. They might even come after me, considering, you know? Oh, I'm going to Is he worried about me? <laughs> he might be worried about me. Oh, they got a Power Ranger down there! Yeah, this could be interesting. I got this feeling he's gonna rope trick pull me up there and then he's gonna start the battle like that. I got this feeling it's gonna kinda be like that. Should I fight them on the water? I don't know if I can really get there and have that kind of advantage too. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> they might be. <laughs> That'd be kind of hilarious, though. Oh, oh. You're going up? 
I'm right here, man. I talked about going up, but I didn't go up. Oh, he wants to... I, I kind of see what he wants to try. I wish dragons would move as far as they used to, but they don't anymore. <laughs> you go first. No, you go first. Eh, he's gonna walk away. He stayed there? Oh, he's a dead man. He's a dead man if he stays right there. You blocked me off completely. You surrounded me and blocked me off. Wow, look at what they did. They're like, nope, we're just gonna we're just gonna stop you. You can't get in there. Sorry. I have ideas though. To open me up to more uh, possibilities. Get the hell out of here. Oh, you're not trapping her, big jerk. This is not happening today, I'll tell you right now. I can see some of your plans in there. They are not going to happen, I'll tell you right now. Look at how they're trying to get me into a really difficult situation. I really wish I had a better angle. They're just gonna change up like everything. The next two turns are gonna be quite big. <laughs> can almost one shot this guy. <laughs> Light purge. Okay, before we go crazy... Yeah. At least we got a regen on him. is living up to his name, which means goodbye in French. Might be something like that. You gonna come and fight me or are you gonna puss out? Get over here. Get sick of this.
Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, he's got a breath attack right through there, too. I mean, it is most of the army. I will kill this thing off, too. I don't know if he's going to survive. <laughs> I can't move anywhere? Okay, what about this? Wait. Major damage? Normal attack. Okay, we'll just get a kill here, I guess. Ah, I don't think I can do much else. Magic resists up too? What? 145? Wow. I didn't think he'd be able to do that much, but he did.
すべてがこのルドに味方しておる Give me a lot of options, do they? No. No oh, jeez. It seems to be that the case, you know? Oh, boy. Get close to the guy. That's true, well. <laughs> Gonna need a heal, buddy. A crit on top.
ここは一気に攻め込む。513 damage crit. We might be able to do this with just Rudo. If I grow up uh, some more monsters, we'll see. You can put that on all you like, I don't care. I'm not doing any more magic. Yeah, we could give Emma the kill. It might be fair. You big slap happy jerk. I wish Angels had Halo. I wish they had Halo. What about just regular attack? I want to just see. 97%. She hasn't really used any MP yet. I think we could probably go ahead and burn a little bit. Yeah, you sure did, Adu. <laughs> yes! Emma is getting stronger. Captured a useless monster. Always good. Um... I'm probably going to do an airy heal here. Although I don't know if that's the best call, but... I kind of need to keep him alive. Oh, I got a better idea. She's got a regen on, but she's been hurt a lot. And that bishop, I think he's got a holy word. Um, I think I'm gonna give this this guy a loop heal. He might be able to get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, she did. <clears throat> Maybe she'll be my my um my new girlfriend <laughs> again. <laughs> double loop heal, double heal. I figure that's a good way to go. Oh, the angel's almost all the way up anyways. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, I could push. I don't know if that'd help right at the moment. I don't think I can really push anybody out of the way. Not in any particular way that I'd like.
This guy's become a liability. Oh! Not bad. There's still a lot coming for her. Do I have to just go into full loop heal mode? Guess that's the way it's gonna be. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he called for mommy. Oh, that's that's kind of sad. <laughs> well, he's saying what, but it sounds like he's saying an American, Mommy! <laughs> it kind of sounds like that, you know? Sort of kind of does. She does kind of need a heal. He kind of needs a heal too, but... Don't think I need to heal Rudo. I think he'll be just fine. Rudo seems like that that kind of a guy. He's like the super super end boss guy. You want to try your luck, hey? You can try it. I'll break all of your stuff. He might actually put himself in position this next time, which would be fantastic. You guys are gonna burn for this one. She still has a self heal, but she's going to be doing some attack and getting some damage to go. Um, it's weird, but she needs a lot of health, honestly. I, I gotta feed her some life potions or something. I feel like he's going to be okay. <laughs> well, guys, enjoy this. <laughs> Mommy! Sorry, but... <laughs> he's, he's backing out. He's like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. We had enough of that. Give me my extra heals, please. Extra, extra heals. Thank you. That comes in handy, I gotta say. 
Two shot Lorenzo. Holy cow. I don't even need a weakness on this guy. He's just done. I could heal him up. We could play some more, maybe. Ah, uh, that's that's cruel. Hmm. Yeah, but I think she's taking more damage. Um, 120 defense. 133 defense. Yeah, she's taking more damage than he is. Oh, we got this guy left. What am I doing? Uh, level 8. Ain't it great? Let's go and level this thing up a little bit more. Got a good point though. Now that we're going in the same row, this should work out pretty good. Um, good point. Good point. Let's um. Ah, oh, it's 34. Should I move to get Emma's angel? No, Emma's angel probably will get there too. Yeah, that'll be fine. Just in case. You don't think so? Should be more than enough damage. More than enough. No, I'm going to get Emma the leader kill. Okay, we're gonna do some gibby headed attacks here. <laughs> Bad example, it is. <laughs> Sorry, Lorenzo, but you got a point. Strength plus is a good thing, intelligence. No agility. Wish we had a little bit more, but... There's no one who can defeat me. My victory is divine providence. You are a dirty scumbag, Rudo. I'm gonna have so much fun playing with... Using you to break armies. <laughs> so much fun! This team with only two leaders is going to just level up so fast. I don't know how I'm going to be able to hold on to the growth. I don't know if it's... I don't know if we can. It's going to get tougher, though, in a way. Because unless we can get another knight in here to, to give to Rudo, I could just go with just Rudo and Emma and just have a questing knight and do something like that. It's Rudo and Emma together. 
the uh, the lovers pair. I could just go do their thing. Severely outmatched, but we did it. Second Arch Archangel. Restored Page. The Zai Tragedy. Long ago, in the Manus Celestia Theocracy, home of the Manus Spring, a conflict broke out, which spilt the re split the religion of the ancient rune god in two. This conflict is still remembered by the rune knights of today and is referred to as Zai's Tragedy. Future generations of the Theocracy would come to say that the mana stones embedded in the five great brigandines had originated from the mana spring. And was the work of the Runite General Zai is what drove this religion to become the peerless and respected nation. They say he was popular with his subjects as well as those abroad because he taught the secrets of mana and welcomed those seeking to harness its power. Even those from outside the Runite disciplines came to study under him. By the end of his lifetime, Zai was said to have taught many thousands. The most famous of which was undoubtedly a young man named Mohanna Karadine, who would one day come to be known as the hero of the neighboring Republic of Gumol. Unlike the other knights, however, he arrived in Manus Lessi with little more than the clothes he wore on his back. Some even whispered that he had come from the land ruled by the Gustavs, a notorious group of bandits. Despite his humble origins, he quickly distinguished himself as a first-class runite after receiving the blessings of mana. General Zai treated him as one of his best pupils and happily assisted him in making a name for himself. Many other runites were said to be jealous of Mohana's success. Despite the fact, Zai insisted that all were equal in the eyes of the rune god, so long as they treated mana with the respect and reverence it deserved. However, one day, Mohanna stole four of the five mana stones and disappeared, never to return to Mana Celestia. The scandal shook the nation to its core, yet General Zai remained calm and only said, A discipline's actions are the responsibility of his master. His willingness to accept punishment rather than blame Mohanna only endeared him to the Runites even more. Ten short years later, an uprising occurred in the land west of the Mana Celestia Theocracy, resulting in the creation of the Republic of Gamal. The one responsible for the uprising was none other than Mohanna, the traitorous student of General Zai. Declaring himself worthy of Mana's blessings, he established the Mohanna, the Mohanna sect of the Rune Faith and gave an explanation for his actions against his former teacher. General Zai had insisted that mana was the exclusive right of the Mana Celestia Theocracy, and Mohanna thought it should be shared throughout the world. They're giving him a sort of a Jesus <laughs> presentation here, I think. He even claimed he distributed the mana stones in according to instructions the rune god had given him. His words threw General Zai's followers into a frenzy and led them into launching an attack against the Republic of Gomol. The battle raged for three decades and became known as the Mana Stone Thirty Years' War. As for General Zai, he confined himself to his quarters, never once joining or common commenting on the hostilities. When he finally died, the crusade came to an end with no victory and heavy losses on both sides. The Zai Moana sects have been divided ever since. Neither side able to reconcile with the other. 
Holy Sovereign Romanov Marko's determined efforts have led to an uneasy peace between the two nations, but many remain steadfast in their sect's conviction. Though it seems as if hostilities have abated, the most fervid followers on both sides were still unwilling to forget the sins of the past. In the Mana Celestia Theocracy, the more passionate members of the Zai sect began referring to the Mana Stone Thirty Years' War as Zai's tragedy. As their way of sharing in their founder's pain and keeping General Zai's memory alive. Wow, we're seeing a lot of cutscenes here. Despite the years of conflict between the Zai and Moana sects, Runites from both go to Mana Celestia to visit the Mana Spring and absorb its blessings. But because of the history of the Mana Stone Thirty Years War, referred to as Zai's tragedy by the Zai sect, the area is strictly monitored by police. Only the most distinguished Runites of the Zai sect hold positions in the Holy Watchmen of the Rune. They were not only charged with upholding peace, but also guarding the Brigandine of Sanctity. This division is run by Rudo Marco, a Runite of unparalleled skills and son of Holy Sovereign Romanov Marco. The Zai Runites of the Mana Celestia Theocracy may appear to tolerate the Mana sect on the surface. The Mohana sect on the surface but in truth, they believe them to be heretics, in a font, in a front to the true followers of the rune god faith. It is no secret that Ruta Marco agrees with this point of view. In fact, some believe his views are more radical than most. I think we got the night. Okay. This should be it, right? It should be the night, right? I'm pretty sure we got the night. Let's see. We got light bracers. A new knight has been recruited. Trapped through town, Frederick Crow saw someone rushing through the city streets. あなたはあなたも力をお持ちですね。ベータ。いけない。貴様、少しの間かくまってください。内緒にしていてくださいよ。全くあの子はもう。これは貴様、あの子をご存知なのですかええ、おっしゃる通り。あの子は生まれつき目の光を失っておりますひと々の思いを見透かすような言葉を発するようになったのです。これも神の御業、マナの力で奇跡が起こり、心の目が開いた。そう思えてならないのでございますが、万博になってしまったのはたまに傷ですね。では、あの子を探してまいります。失礼い
貴様も僕が何か見えているとお思いですか何も見えないのです皆が期待するようなものは何もマナシャワーが降り注ぐ様も人々の心もどんなに願おうとも祈ろうとも見えません苦しいそれはもうどうしようもなく暗いのですしかし皆は僕を神童と呼びます心の目が開いたともてはやすのです武家の恥として修道院に捨てられたこの僕を見える人たちは自分が望むことを見ているのですね何かにすがりたいという心の弱さが人間にはあるからでもルーンの力に目覚めたものは心弱き者を助け希望の光となれる強さを持っているそうですよね僕は広き世界をこの力で感じることができますそしてこの力が人々の希望の光になることは叶いますでしょうか騎士様から感じる温かな力はシスターと同じあなたと共に歩めば僕のこの夢は叶うかもしれないコーラベータそこに治りなさい騎士様シスターを不安にさせたくないのです僕の士官一緒に説得をお願いできますかナイスオッケー、we pushed out pretty far。it's uh。Two hours, 30 minutes in, I think we're gonna just do some organize, set the attack, save it. And next time we're gonna just keep rolling out. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's check out our, our one team here. He actually went to the capital, so I could probably use him right away, I guess. Level five. Little level five prodigy mage. You know what? It would actually probably be pretty good to bring him along. It's gonna be a very powerful team. If I do. If I do say so myself. Wow, he's already got an He's already got an angel with him? A level nine angel? Holy cow. Holy cow. He already came with a level nine angel, and I've already got We're going to have a whole bunch of archangels on this team. He didn't try to stop it though. <laughs> no. No, he didn't try to stop it though. It's gonna be quite a powerful team with this. Um It's gonna be quite powerful. Say the least. I could quest him, you know. Um, you think like a mage dark knight would be fun? Yeah, we could try something with that. We have heavy protector, light bracers. I gotta give my main team all this gear though because, you know, they're gonna be kind of a small team for a while. Yeah, we could make them something interesting, you know. So now our power score has drastically changed. We could probably go and attack them easily. Not even worry about that. I could quest him too, but um, yeah. We'll have to see.
Okay, 25. So we're gonna get some stuff here. 25. I guess a pixie. <laughs> we'll have to see. I'd have to... I might quest out that little Veda guy because... I don't really have a lot of other knights. Rudo and... Um, Rudo and Emma are working like a great team together at the moment. They're they're doing really well, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> I mean, I could send him over to where Gilliam is, but I want Gilliam to keep pushing. Um, I Maybe I'll just send him out on quest right now. There's a possible extra knight to get. So we could just do that again, I guess. Um, Let's try to hand over some some better stuff over here. Though I thought I summoned stuff here. Maybe I didn't have the bestest of opportunities. Oh, we can get that. 45. 45. Well, Hell Dog. Or a hot dog or kielbasa. We got some options. I, I think I need a, a, a little bit of a stronger tanky tanky guy. Although a hellhound would be really evasive and work out really well. Hmm. Well, if I'm going to quest Veda, um, I mean, that probably can work. I'm just trying to think about adding more to the team instead of just making it a little stronger, you know? Uh, well, oh, can we get a snake here? Maybe we can. Yeah, we can. That's right. Giant snake wouldn't be so bad. Uh, that's actually a good idea. I do want the giant snake, honestly. That work? Does kind of work. We'll have to turn this one into a Simurg, I think. Or, you know what? Actually, no, a Phoenix. We'll do a Phoenix because he gets some special skills. He can drain MP. And that might work out in the future, honestly. Let's get that snake. I like that idea. But a couple... Uh, a couple of Fenris would be cool, too. But a giant snake is a giant snake, and a giant snake is a giant snake, so... Okay, that team looks pretty good. I think we'll have him quest one more time. That team looks fine. I'd, I don't think there's anything else we have to do here. Okay, that looks pretty good. We, we're mopping the floor with them right now. We got sugar back! Yes! Yes, yes, yes.
how many healers do we have? Um, quite a lot, actually. I think this team we could go with a Simurg. Which I, I, I have another one, but it might be interesting to have a little bit more. One hundred points. All right, let's summon some more. Hundred points. Hundred points. Do I need more protect spells? Uh, got one. I think we need some more. Get. We'll get two hairy fairies and one of these. Okay, before we end this, if you have names for stuff, I know this is getting close to the three hours now, but I'm literally just finishing up this uh, this episode here, this this uh, Twitch run. And if you got some ideas for names, let me know. We could get some good names, probably. Okay, we got 18 points left. Can't do much with that. <laughs> he only got a proficiency of one. That was a tough battle, and he only got one proficiency off that. Um, yeah, if you got some names for stuff, let me know. Okay, so that team's fairly well done. Oh, Gizmo for the Manic Miracle Imp? Where was that again? Oh, it's up... Yeah, that's right. Just level 10. We got some upgrades though. Hmm. Oh, man. Okay, so we're moving with this team. This team is going to go after... Actually, no. This team was supposed to go... At... This team was... I was thinking it was going to go after Gamol. So... I think I'll put him after Gomol, so I think if we're going to go after Gomol with Elza, let's make it a blue element. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta reposition them though. This wasn't really a part of the plan. I wasn't expecting to quest anybody, honestly. I was just gonna go and attack castles. That's what I was thinking about. So I could get everybody attacks, but I am attacking castles. I just kind of wanted them to be down here. But that whole triangular area is a really weird... It's a, just a really weird place. I could try attacking down there. I mean, once they... I'd have to attack them, but then they'll attack down here. This other, this other castle, this was the one that was supposed to go in there and do something. I didn't really get to do much. I could do that, but this is a team that I'd, I'd rather fight Gromol right now. This team is going to go south, and I'd need something to to, to knock on Gromol's doors. Because the thing is, like, this, this team here is either going to have to go one way or another, and I'm going to leave him a whole space open here if I do that. So if I go down here with this team and this other team, Republic is going to come after me hardcore, and I won't be able to defend all this. So... I could have them do more attacks here, or quest out, but I want them to go to fight Grimol, and they're already a little battle-tested right now, which is pretty good for me. And so I'm going to send them down here, and I'm going to send this other team over here. So, as a battle-tested team trying to take out a full country, it's a little better, although this one's going to be a little bit rough, but we'll be running roughshod a little bit, but we have a healer slash mage, and a another healer slash mage mixed with a swordsman. I feel pretty confident sending it against Shinobi, although Shinobi could still do fairly well in that battle, and they're not really battle tested yet, but neither is Shinobi. Shinobi hasn't fought anything. But um, they're going to move over here, and then we're going to attack there, and by the time that we know it, this team will probably break this castle, and then we'll be able to move in here while they're moving into Shinobi at the same time. And so then this army can attack here, that army is not probably going to get attacked to attack Morelva, and then this team will attack down too. And uh, once these, once Morelva is kind of taken, we'll have two extra armies to place wherever. And um, before you know it, we might even take out Shinobi at the same time. Maybe even the Holy Ghost of Empire. I don't know. But um, it really comes down to taking out the Orange. I, I feel really bad about that because I really like Morelva. But that's sort of the that's sort of the play that we're gonna try to do, and so they're gonna move over there. This team is gonna move over here, just so we can set up a team to go do what they need to do. Um, I I don't know if we can summon any more here. I think we're good because we already have we already have two full proficiencies. So these two knights should have heals and spells and. Um, they could heal if they want to. We might need another healer here, though, just to keep it a little more offensive. Um, if I could summon a healer here, that might be nice. I can't get a healer. So I guess we're going to have to balance back and forth. If we lose some monsters just to get the win, I'm okay with that, too. But um, it's going to be tough. I mean, I got 1,400 points, so we might have to play a defensive game for a, a turn. I don't know. And that's okay with me. I'm actually kind of okay with that. They got 1,500 points here. She might actually just come straight at me and try to attack me too. So I might have to defend against um, Shinobi or <laughs> the Republic. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be kind of tough. Um, this team defending from that though. 
might be a little more worried about this <laughs> because this is a really weird interesting team I think we need all the power we can get I, I don't think I need to change I don't think I can really change around too much here breaking blow I might need a fighting focus here though What would I get as Barbarian, really? Ugh, his agility... His agility is 44. He, he's, he's either going to a Thief class, which he can't, or a Knight class. Agility will go down. I think he has to stay what he's staying. He, he's just... He's really not that good. He needs to grow in agility before he can really do anything else. I'm just gonna change him to a grappler. We get two grapplers here at least. Maybe a little bit extra skills. We got two grapplers can do some punches. A, 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 a cardinal langoborg and a a shot and a prayer, I guess, to try to get a win off of this. This is going to be uh, quite interesting to take out Republic of Gamol with a team like this. At least we have a bunch of protect spells. We might be... We might be burning the mid oil with this kind of one. With, with this kind of team, I mean. This is going to be a quite interesting team to do. So this team is set. Uh, that we don't have to. We could quest him out. What do you, what do you have here to start? I just want to know right off the top. Um, yikes! It's crazy that she actually has 82 agility. She could literally turn into an archer, you know. To beat Mua. <laughs> It's gonna be a tough fight. Um, we'll see if we can get something here. Okay, so we'll quest him out. Yeah, he might be Jew and Mua in a weird way. He might actually do that. I really like this team right here. This team might have a lot of potential. It's going to be an interesting fight. I'll just say that much. We got her, got them moving over there. They're going to kind of stay on defense there. Okay, so I think we got everything set. Yeah, they do prefer forest. That's true. But I'm, f I'm taking on Stella, so the reason I'm down here is because we've got Thunder, got an Archer. If we can hit Stella with green, she's weak to green. If she's the front line, we'll take her out, which is kind of what we did. That's sort of the point of why I did what I did. Um, I've got Avril over there, so he'll be fine with some mages in the back. Um, but it is sort of a femme fatale team. It's kind of it kind of is that way but um 
Yeah, we're definitely um, getting close to three hours in. i um, gonna do a quest with this one. I think Rudo might be fine with Emma for now. Everything's looking pretty good. We've got two Archangels on this team. Um, I almost want to bring the, the Sugar Hydra with me, but <laughs> I guess I can't. It's only level... It's only level one, though. But no, 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 that's not the... That's not the one. It's, um... Yeah, that's not gonna work. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll be alright. We've got Rudo and Emma together on a team as a couple. And we've got that moving there. We got that moving there. All right, let's execute. I think everything's good. Okay, this is gonna be a bit tough because if they try to fight me, they could win. Although, I think we broke down a few of their leaders, so... Umaro's here. We're gonna fight little Umi. Oh god, that's gonna be tough. This is gonna be really tough. If we could surround him, we could take him down. Although he's a Viking, so he's gonna do massive trauma damage to me. And, uh... It's it's down to getting getting those two leaders down if we can. Wait, do you have any healers on your team? You got one. You always have one. How do you even Okay. The power couple. So they have Tommy Bartlett, Laser Show, Pluto, my alter ego. This is my alter ego on this game. It's Pluto right here. Uh, Galavard, the Galavardist. You got a crap team, I'll say that much. This one's gonna be a bit easier. We're barely making the, uh, we're, we're barely making it. Okay, we're gonna go up there. These two teams can't do anything. They might get attacked. We might have to play a defense. I'm okay with that. We might have to play some, some defense there. They could attack me. They could attack me. I, I can't say. This is the hard thing about trying to expand very rapidly and quickly. Is that you're going to have some teams that are just going to be falling short of power score. And if they attack me or they attack me... We we'll have to play a defense, so trying to spread out like super fast with Mana Celestia is quite risky. I would have to say if I if if I tried this a little bit more, I'd have to like just not worry about questing, just go for it. But then also I'd probably have to play an easy so they wouldn't attack me so much, <laughs> you know, just to expand and take over massive territory without worrying about um, playing any defense. Because I think, I, I think easy, they don't really attack you hardly at all. They probably just let you do whatever you want to do. Hard modes? Uh, different story. Okay, so we got that. We can't do that. We just move them. And we can do this. So we've got three attacks set. And tomorrow's going to be the Rubino Co-op. So stay tuned for that. But um, those are essentially the attacks there. That's kind of what's happening. This is the map. We grew it quite a lot. We did actually pretty good. Yeah, I start attack this turn in hard. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to do. But we'll find out. We might have a de we might have a defense or two. We might have to defend up there, and down there, and Cetasoria or whatever the castle is just below that. 
Drill Warn. We might have a defense there. Could have a defense there. We could have a defense all over the place. But we're going to have a heck of a fun time. We're going to move out. I'm going to move down. If they attack me here after I attack this, I might have to attack back just to just to uh, hold my territory. So, rat's nest territory really doesn't help. Yes, this is how I describe it. It's it's sort it's a rat's nest here. Anytime you got castles that are four, you know, positions like this, there's there's four castles connected to each other like this, like here, like here, like here, and like here. It makes it really hard to expand because you have to have an army to defend yourself. You know, it's it's different. If I just come in here, I could go boom, 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 and I'm done. Or here, I could go boom, 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 and I'm done. But trying to get through here, I mean, they could push in here, and it, it, it'd be difficult for both of us. But it's it's really difficult as an aggressor, too. But also holding this much territory is like playing Ascaris from Grand Edition, trying to hold everything right off the bat. It's like, in Grand Edition, you kind of have to just give up some territory and uh, pick a new place to go to, in a way. You know? Yeah, and then there's five links there, and then there's five links in um, a different section. Um, it's just... Whenever you get multiple cross cross castles, like you can link up with multiple castles, it gets just more and more difficult. But it's we're already three hours in. I'm gonna leave you at that. I'm gonna play the outro. I hope you had a great time tonight, or uh, today, technically now. But uh, later on today, we're going to play Norzalio co-op with Raging Paul, and so I hope you uh, I hope you brought your uh, your party hats and your kazoos and whatever you want to bring <laughs> for the for the co-op tomorrow but uh, tomorrow's gonna be Norzalio and we're expanding as the blue uh, or later today technically speaking but uh, thanks everybody for being here thank you so much for the follows thank you very much for that and thank you so much for the subscribes it really means a lot that helps me out so much that helps us grow you know get bigger better and all that sort of stuff so y'all have a great night Sleep well. And um, I'm closing it out for good uh, tonight. And on YouTube, this is the end of the video. So, yeah, take care. Thanks so much for being here. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow or later today for an Ozalio co-op.
victorious, sire!